Hey, uh, this is a little quick tip for Blender users out there. And so what I'm going to do here is, I had a need, let me bring up the animation and show you. I have an animation here, which is a walk animation. Let me uh, set this to the number of frames in the walk animation, which I think is 20. All right, so we'll play the animation. So you see he's walking forward, uh, and you can see the armature through him. Okay, so it's a very simple walk animation, not, nothing big. Okay, but um, I realized this is for um, the sword fighting um, fighting game I'm doing for the iPhone. And I realized that I needed to also have a retreating animation. Basically, the same thing, but he's walking backwards. So I've, this is a simple tip on how to do it. Here's the keyframes for that walk uh, cycle. All right, so I'm going to... Um, basically clone this uh, in the action editor by I have the walk cycle selected and then I'll go to head oops go ahead to add new and it will clone that walk cycle for me and I'll rename this I'll call it retreat okay and now um, I'm gonna click in here and I'll hit a to select everything okay and then I'll hit s to scale and instead of dragging it to the left and right to scale it uh, this way, I'm gonna keep dragging until it goes past zero and we go into the negative frames. All right, so we'll get it. It was a 20 frame cycle, so we're gonna go to negative 20. All right, and then I'll hit G and just move the whole thing over, oops, until we go to the frame that we started at. Oops, which is one, all right. And so now when I play it, let's go over here, as you can see, it's reversed it. So that's a very simple way to reverse an animation uh, that has armatures uh, using the action editor. So that's a very quick way to uh, re uh, reduce the time you need to uh, retime and reanimate something. I hope that helps you out.